someone over there going like, that didn't work, I'm colorblind, it didn't work. So, I am your friendly neighborhood mind reader. I like the game show audience vibe, thank you. But that doesn't mean I'm psychic, I don't read palms, I don't talk to the dead, I read people, and I talk to the living. Usually, and I need two living people to come up here to have their minds read. However, those two people need to be chosen at random. Otherwise, some of you might think I'm using actors or stooges or secret plants hidden in the audience. So, we here at the Champions of Magic have developed our very own patent pending random audience volunteer selection device. He's cute, he's cuddly, he's 98% polyester. He is the champion of magic. I see a few of you appreciate a good pun. That's good. Here's how the champion of magic works. First of all, we bring some house lights up, so I'm going to give a look at you, and then I throw the champion at you. Whoever catches him, whoever's lappy lands him, whoever gets hit in the face by him, is our first random volunteer. Now, for various reasons, I cannot bring you up here to read your mind if you're under the age of 18. So if he does land in your lap and you are under 18 years of age, then just put down your beer and your iPhone. And pass one on to the nearest person over 18 because they'll be really pleased about it, I assure you. So, whoever catches him first, just stand up and wave him around so I can see you, but stay where you are for now because I need two people. So, the first person to catch this, I'm going to try and chuck it somewhere in the middle here. I'm not going to look. Just stand up when you catch him. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Hi, my pretty fly. <laughs> Literally, a woman there was like, no. <laughs> it's very charming, but I'm not going up. Do we have someone brave enough? Could you stand up if you have a champion? Hey! Tim, they love you already. Uh, please, nice and loud, uh, what is your name? Paul. Okay, Paul, in a moment you are going to come join me on stage. There's steps either side. But Paul, I don't want you to be alone. Throw that chimp in again. I will take the nearest person to over 18. So it's going to be Paul and whoever catches it next. So give it a good throw anyway, like. Paul, oh, that's good. In the aisle. Not so great, Paul. You can grab a young lady, you can give it another throw, pass it to a grown up. You can just give it a throw anyway, like. To that woman right next to you. Fantastic. I can, this isn't television, I can see you as well. Stand up for me. You can't go, just give it, a, give it to some uh, adult around you. I, you're a supervising children, I quite understand. You have it. Fantastic. If you could make your way to the steps there, Paul, if you could make your way through, please stand up and let through. There are steps right there. But you'll notice you get a lovely round of applause as they come up. Keep it going as they come up. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. There are steps right there. Please do be careful. Come all the way around there. Do we have this lady right here? There are steps all the way around there. Please be careful. Just around here, I'll show you. <laughs> Listen. Ta da! Follow this man in orange. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Paul. Nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you. You stand right here. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Alison. Everyone, this is Alison. <laughs> Do keep your coat on, you know. <laughs> Planning on leaving early. So, how are you both? Are you both well? Yes? Yes? Good, good. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. So. <laughs> Now the reason I ask is honestly, I don't want either of you to feel, you know, anxious or nervous. I'm not going to reveal anything uh, that would be embarrassing unless it's really funny. So Paul, uh, you're going to be kind of a warm-up for me. So I would like you please uh, to think of, in your mind right now, a short English word. A short English word. So we say short is seven letters or less. And don't go for cat or dog, because those are kind of a bit too easy to guess. So just yes or no, do you have a word in mind right now? Yes, fantastic. I'm going to give you this pen and a piece of card. A pen and a piece of card, because I want you to write down that word, just so we've got some proof later on. Nice and clearly right there, then fold it back up. The writing's on the inside. Thank you, Paul. Now, with you, I'd like a bit more of a challenge. So I want you to think of uh, someone that you know, someone you know personally, but not someone who's here tonight, because you might think maybe I've seen the tickets, I know you've got more he's here with you or something. So someone you can know, it could be a friend, colleague, family member, anyone you like. Don't worry about their last name, because last names can be easy to guess. Do you have someone in mind? Yes? Fantastic. I'm going to give you a pen. So like I said, just their first name is great. And also, if you know it, their age as well, focus on that, and also their relationship to you. So fill in your card, fold it back up to the right of the inside. Thank you. All finished? Fantastic. I'll tell you about my pen, Paul, because 
Well, you look exactly like the kind of man that's still stationary. <laughs> Maybe there's a printer or two from work, I can tell. So, just confirm for everyone out here, you can't quite see because this is a very small piece of card. Like, this is a thick, a thick piece of card. You can't see through it, no? But so you guys know it's nice and say it's going to go inside this uh, envelope. Please make sure there's nothing else inside there. So you're not going to switch it or swap it or anything like that. There's a hole in the bottom. It really just goes in just like that. You can seal it as well. That would be perfect. Take it, seal it. Thank you. And likewise, here's an envelope, or if you prefer, envelope for you. There you go. Take away my pen. Could you seal it for me? I mean, you can lick your thumb if you want and seal it. But the last two years didn't happen. Good, so, yes please. Thank you. It's just so you know your thoughts are safe, at least for now. And likewise, this. So Paul, you are my warm-up, so you're gonna, I'm gonna start with you. Uh, but you can relax for a bit. Take your coat off if you like, but you can sit. <laughs> uh, you can, I'll put your envelope there so you don't decide to say, you can sit on your envelope and just relax for a while, I'll come back to you. Paul, sit behind the microphone for me. And hold on to your envelope. And uh, it's very bright here, but can you see there are exit signs are glowing in the distance there, a little specks of light? Maybe that one over there. I want you to focus on it and use it as a, a focal point. Keep your eyes on it at all times, because in your mind, I'd like you to start saying this word over and over again. So don't say that loud, because that you know, takes the challenge out. So whatever this word is, just keep repeating it on a loop in your head, nice and clearly, nice and slowly, that's too fast. Nice and slowly say this word in your head. Good. Good, good, good. good. Now, uh, just to get me started, keep focusing on the light, don't look at me. Just in your head, could you think of a letter just somewhere in the middle of the word? Just one letter, somewhere in the middle, just choose one, thank you. Oh, don't change your mind because that confuses me. Because the letter E is in there, yes? Yes. What's yes. the letter Q crossed your mind for a moment? Is that true? Yes? Yes. I mean, notice how the audience just burst into a spontaneous round of applause there. <laughs> The thing you should know about me is I'm very needy, so what's this is all I need. So, okay, keep looking at the light bulb, and I know this sounds strange, but uh, just go with me on this. I want you to say your own first name out loud. So say Paul out loud for me. Paul. Good. Say it again. Paul. Good. No, thank you. <laughs> I see you brought your hands up. So say it out loud one more time. Paul. Good. Now say your own name, but just in your head. Good brother. Now say the word, just in your head. Um. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, I know what this is. Keep looking forward, don't turn around. I spell that right? <laughs> I think the word you're thinking of is this, and if it's not this, then I am sorry. <laughs> so can I take a look at the word that you think that I think you're thinking of. Mr. Microphone, please tell everyone the word you're thinking of is? Check. Check, there it is. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Paul, everyone. Good to go back to see you. Thank you so much. Great. So, uh, you can stay sat down. I'll give you the microphone. Please hold it nice and close to your mouth so we can hear you. So this person you're thinking of, um, like they came to mind really quickly. So you know this person really well. Is that fair to say? Yes, good. Okay. It, um, it's bright up here, isn't it? With all these lights and the smoke and stuff. So uh, that can be distracting for most people. So I'm going to get you to close your eyes. Okay. Because I think it will help you concentrate, which will help me pick up on your thoughts a little bit better. So think about this person. Think about um, their age. Think about their name. Think about what they look like. Think about the last place you saw them. Have all this information in your head. And just at this very moment right now, ignore it all and think about one thing. That one thing is the very first letter of this person's name. You just think of that in your head. And you just keep saying in your head the first letter of their name. And you can picture it as well, you're quite a visual thinker, and that's good for me. So keep your eyes closed, but into the microphone, what is the first letter of this person's name? L. L, good. <laughs> and, uh, do you know the, hmm, no, maybe not. Do you know, yes or no, do you know this person's age? Just yes, yes. or no? Yes? yes. And you know it exactly? Exactly good. So close your eyes and just focus on the age for me. Imagine it written in front of you. I think you're a bit more visual. So written in front of you. Good. So out loud, please tell us 
What is this person's age? Age, 16. <laughs> you know, for a moment, I thought you were going to think of like a, a colleague or a friend or something, but this person's related to you, aren't they? Yes. Is this your daughter? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good. So imagine me right now. Keep your eyes open. Imagine your daughter's here. Okay. Amazing. You didn't bring your 16-year-old to come to your magic show, but fine. <laughs> So imagine she's here right now, and she comes up on stage, and you're going to introduce me. You only do this in your head. You imagine she walks up the steps, she comes over here, and you say, in your mind, you say, Alex, I'd like you to meet my daughter, blank, and in your mind, you fill in the gap. So, Alex, I'd like you to meet my daughter, no, it's not Laura, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Lauren, Lauren. Yes. Is it Lauren? Yes. Yes, there we go. You were wonderful. Thank you so much. It's good, isn't it?